From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I am your host Shivangi Mishra and today in an episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Of the many things that India has blessed the world with, the gift of yoga is the most valuable of all. An ancient practice that connects the body, breath and the mind, yoga involves uses of physical postures, breathing exercises and meditation that are helpful in improving overall health of an individual. Recognizing its universal appeal, the United Nations proclaimed 21 June as the International Day of Yoga. Let's take a look at how Yoga Day was observed in India this year. International Day of Yoga is celebrated every year on 21st June around the world. It serves as a global platform to raise awareness about the various benefits of yoga. The idea of observing International Yoga Day was first proposed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his speech at the United Nations General Assembly in 2014. This year, the global celebration of International Yoga Day was led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at United Nations headquarters. The theme of Yoga Day this year was Yoga for Vasudev Gautamukam, that is Yoga for the welfare of all. The theme very well expresses the spirit of yoga which unites and takes everyone along. The day was celebrated with much enthusiasm in different parts of the country. Yeah, I'm feeling very proud that I'm uh, in Kashmir and I'm uh, practicing yoga because it's a very vital role. It plays a very vital role in our life because it improves our mental health, uh, physical postures, uh, our breath and mind. And it's very good for health to do yoga every day. Observing yoga day on higher altitudes and rocky terrains, the Indian Army performed yoga asans at the Pengong So in Ladakh. Similar scenes were observed in Sikkim, where the army personnel performed yoga, marking the ninth anniversary of the occasion. Meanwhile, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh performed yoga along with the Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, on board INS Vikrant. He mentioned that yoga is not just a few asanas, but is related to karma, janana and bhakti. <laughs> कि मुझे आज इस अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योगा दिवस के अवसर पर इंडिजिनस एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर आईएनएस विक्रांत पर आप सभी मित्रों के साथ बैठकर योगा करने का अवसर प्राप्त हुआ है साथियों आज सिर्फ भारत में ही नहीं बल्कि पूरी दुनिया में अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस को बेहद उत्साह के साथ मनाया जाता है in Botard city of Gujarat, citizens performed a variety of asanas on boats, displaying flexibility and resilience. In Rajkot city, citizens gathered together for performing water yoga by doing asanas in swimming pool. Also known as aqua yoga, the exercise is helpful in enhancing the potential of joint movements, healing insomnia and soothing the nervous system. सभी ग्राउंड पे तो करते हैं पर हमने पानी में किया आज विश्व योगा दिन है 21 जून तो पानी में हम लोग 20 25 दिनों से प्रैक्टिस तो कर ही रहे थे और आज हमने सभी ने यहां पे अलग-अलग योगा किए अलग-अलग आसन किए पानी में और बहुत अच्छा भी लगता है ये पानी में इन मुंबई सिटी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सिटीजंस परफॉर्मड योगा ऑन अ लोकल ट्रेन दस रेजिंग अवेयरनेस अबाउट द न्यूमेरस बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द प्रैक्टिस Meanwhile, in Raipur city of Chhattisgarh, a group of specially able performed yoga in a stretch under a makeshift tent. The group flexed their bodies and hands to different yoga asans as instructed by their trainer. Divyangu ke liye bhi ye physical activity, khas kar yoga wagera, bahut zaruri hota hai. क्योंकि हमारे पास और बहुत कुछ मूवमेंट का बहुत एक्सरसाइज करने के तरीके नहीं होते तो योग एक बहुत अच्छा साधन है स्वस्थ रहने के लिए तो हम हर साल कोशिश करते हैं कि हम कुछ ना कुछ अलग करें जिससे कि ये अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग दिवस में कि ये मैसेज दे सके कि दिव्यांग होते हुए भी आप योग भी कर सकते हैं आप खेल सकते हैं आप वो सब कुछ कर सकते हैं जो एक सामान्य आदमी कर सकता है 
तो इसी वजह से हम पिछले साल हमने इक्कीस जून को लद्दाख में पेंगोंग लोग लेक पे जा करके योगा किया था और इस साल हम लोग यहाँ छत्तीसगढ़ पे तो हमारी कोशिश रहती है कि हर साल योग दिवस पे हम कुछ ना कुछ अलग करें The International Yoga Day is observed with great enthusiasm not only in India but all over the world. It is a matter of great pride for India as a nation that the world is acknowledging and adapting India's culture, lifestyle and practices. Moving on. The Rath Yatra Festival of Lord Jagannath is one among the grand festivities India witnesses every year. A multitude of people gather to take glimpse of their lords Jagannath, Balbhadra and Goddess Subhadra seated on gigantic chariots which are manually pulled by their devotees. Remarkably, this grand festival is celebrated by all religious communities across India. To mark this occasion in Ahmedabad, there is a unique custom prevalent in the residents of Jamalpur area where Muslim devotees present a miniature chariot to the Hindu brethren as a symbol of harmony peace and brotherhood between the two communities. Let's have a look. Every year, a sea of devotees throng coastal town of Puri to witness the grand spectacle of Ratyatra in Odisha. It is an annual festival celebrated all across India on Ashadi Beach, the second day of Ashad month or Shukla Paksh as per the Hindu calendar. As per mythology, on this day, Lord Jagannath, Devi Subhadra and Lord Balbhadra started a nine-day sojourn from the Jagannath temple to the aunt's plates at Gundicha temple in Puri. The three giant identical chariots are traditionally handcrafted every year for Lord Jagannath, their elder brother Lord Balbhadra and their sister Devi Subhadra for the journey. Multitudes of devotees offer their strength and devotion to their gods as they pull the gigantic chariots with only ropes. Ratyatra is one among the grand festivals celebrated in India and remarkably, devotees from different religions take part in this major event. In Ahmedabad city of Gujarat, the Ratyatra festival was celebrated with much pomp and show. The most admirable part of the celebration is a unique custom prevalent among the Muslim community in Jamalpur area. Prati vars Bhagwan Jagannath ji ni rath yatra ma Muslim samaj Jamalpur na dwara rath harpan karwani parampara raheli chhe. Khub khub emne sadhu baad ne khub khub abhinandan apye chhe. Ane khub mangal kamna kariye chhe. सदाएं ने माटे आवो प्रेम अन्य बंधुत्व अन्य भावना बनी रहे कोई पन उससे होए आविर्ते प्रेम थी आनंद थी अने भाई चारा थी सद्भाव थी आपने शो मना भी मुस्लिम जवानीज विद देयर ब्रेथन हिंदूज इन द जमालपुर एरिया टेक पार्ट इन ऑल द प्रिपरेशंस एंड अरेंजमेंट्स टू मेक दिस मेगा फेस्टिवल सक्सेसफुल Lakhs of devotees flock the sites of 18-kilometer route to take glimpses of their beloved gods. The Muslims and Hindus of the area, well aware of the situations arise during such large congregations, stay steadfast to avert any possible mishap. For last many decades, Jamalpur has remained an epicenter of communal harmony and unity among different religious communities. The Ratyatra in Jamalpur is a grand manifestation of the respect the different religious communities hold for each other. Tevi saal se ham log ye rat de raha hai Hindu Muslim ekta ke liye de raha hai aur ham ye chahte ye khushal khushali se rat nikle aur khushali se wapas aave. Sabhi komon ke log Hindu Muslim se kisai raste mein khade rehte hain unki swagat karta hoye je. स्वागत करते और उनको शांति से रात निकाल के यहाँ वापस आ जाता जब भी हम लोग यहीं खड़ा रहते हैं। The religious harmony among the communities residing in Jamalpur is a testimony to India's unity in diversity. However, such examples of communal harmony could be witnessed at every nook and corner of the country. 
During festivals, this integrity further shines to showcase the world why India is unique and world leader from cultural point of view. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Vietnam Defense Minister General Phan Van Giang met his Indian counterpart Rajnath Singh and held talks in New Delhi last week to boost defense ties. Excellency, June 2022, in Vietnam, in the last year, we have a mutual logistic support agreement with a joint vision statement on India-Vietnam Defense Partnership towards 2030. And this joint vision statement अब दोनों देशों के बीच बायोलेटरल डिफेंस कोऑपरेशन का एक ओवर आर्किंग गाइडिंग डॉक्यूमेंट है और इस स्टेटमेंट ने हमारे मौजूदा डिफेंस कोऑपरेशन के स्कोप और स्केल को भी काफी बढ़ाया है और मेरा मानना है कि यह भविष्य के लिए भी यह मार्ग प्रशस्त करेगा और हमें वियतनामी आर्म फोर्सेस की डिफेंस कैपेबिलिटीज को और बढ़ाने के लिए आपके साथ काम करने में बेहद खुशी होगी Phan Wang Jiang, who is on a two-day visit to India, discussed topics of mutual interest with Singh after being accorded a ceremonial welcome and paying tribute at the National War Memorial in the Indian capital. India's engagement with Vietnam holds importance as the country has often criticized neighboring China's assertion in the South China Sea. In today's world of video calls, instant messaging and mobile phones, police in India's eastern Odisha state are preserving a relic from the past, carrier pigeons. In a nondescript building in Katak, more than 100 Belgian homing pigeons are being reared and trained to carry messages just in case all known forms of communications fail. With origins in the British colonial era, the pigeons used to carry messages between police stations in remote regions and help to keep in touch with police units on the move. Messages are written on a very light onion paper and inserted into a copper or plastic capsule, then tied to the pigeon's leg before they are released. The birds proved to be a communication lifeline during the 1999 Odisha cyclone that ravaged large swaths of the state coast and destroyed almost all modes of communication. Studies have shown that the homing pigeons, known for their ability to find their home over long distances, may be able to detect magnetic fields and zoom in on their destination from 1000 miles away. Slowly, they are taken some distance away from their home and released into the sky before they instinctively come back. The distance is gradually increased by about 3 kilometers every day and within 10 days, they can come back from a distance of 25 kilometers on their own. Once trained, the bird's memory and accuracy in identifying routes and locations remains intact for years. These birds can fly up to 500 miles at a stretch with a speed of 55 km per hour depending on the weather. Belgian pigeons are chosen because of their ability to fly long distances and longevity, with some known to live up to 20 years. Tesla chief executive Elon Musk said India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi was pushing the car maker to make a significant investment in the country, adding that such an announcement was expected soon. His comments came after a meeting with Prime Minister Modi during the Indian leader's visit to the United States. India opened the way for private launches in 2020 and wants its private space companies to increase their share of the global launch market five-fold within the next decade. Executives of Tesla visited India and held talks with Indian bureaucrats and ministers last month on establishing a manufacturing base for cars and batteries in India. Musk said last month, Tesla would probably pick a location for a new factory by the end of this year, adding India was an interesting place for a new plant. US companies need to reduce reliance on China as a manufacturing base in the face of tensions between India and Beijing. India is a land of diverse religions and cultures. It has always encouraged cultural amalgamation. 
Sufism in the Poonch district of Jammu and Kashmir, through its annual Uz commemoration of Sufi Saint Mir Baksh, is setting another example of harmony and brotherhood among communities where people, irrespective of their religions, visit the shrine and pay their tributes. Let's have a look. Located on the hilltop at Gultria in Poonch district of Jammu and Kashmir is a Dargah of Sufi Saint Baba Miran Baksh. Thousands of devotees of different faiths gathered at the holy site for three consecutive days to celebrate 39 oars or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. The Dargah of the Miran Baksh is an absolute emblem of peace and brotherhood. It is believed that people get their wishes fulfilled by praying at the Dargah. The Dargah is located at the line of control. ये हजरत साईं बाबा मीरा बख्श रहमतुल्लाह अलैह का उरसे पाक का तीसरा और आखिरी दिन है यहां पर हजारों की तादाद में बिला लिहाज मजहब मिल्लत हिंदू मुसलमान सिख ईसाई सभी लोगों ने यहां पे शिरकत की है और लाखों की तादाद में लोगों ने यहां पे आके अपने अपने अकीदे के हिसाब से यहां पे दुआएं मांगी गई है तो सबसे पहले जब यहां पे फायरिंग होती थी तब भी जो है ये उरसे पाक मनाया जाता था तो मैं मीडिया का जाति तौर मशकूर हूं कि उस वक्त मुश्किल दौर में भी मीडिया ने हमारे इस इलाका को जो है कवरेज करके आला हुकाम तक पहुंचाया और उसी की बदौलत आप लोगों की ही वजह से आज जो है वो फायर बंदी है आज अमन और चैन से लोग जो है वो बॉर्डर पे रह रहे हैं ये बॉर्डर के बिल्कुल ऊपर जीरो लाइन के ऊपर जो है ये जैरत हजरत साई बाबा मीरा बख्श है तो मैं एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन से एल सरकार से ये अपील करना चाहता हूँ कि ऐसी जगह जो बॉर्डर के ऊपर जो हमारे वल्यू की जगह है कोई भी अपने अपने स्थान है इनको टूरिज्म ऐप के ऊपर लाया जाए It is said that Sian Miran Baksh was popular spiritual personality which is used to attract a large number of followers from Jammu and Kashmir and nearby states. The tradition follows after the death of Baba Miran Baksh and devotees gathers in large number to mark the occasion. Zila Poonch ki sabse badi rohani ye khanka hai. जहाँ पर हज़ारों फर्जंदान तोहद व रसालत आते हैं और अपनी मुरादें पा कर के यहाँ से जाते हैं कितने मुसीबत ज़दा आते हैं उनकी मुसीबतें अल्लाह ताली हज़रत बाबा साहब रहमत ला तै के सदक़े में दूर करता है ट्रस्ट के इंतजाम बहुत खूब हैं और यहाँ पर जो ट्रस्ट है मोहतम रशीद भट्ट साहब की क्यादत में जो काम कर रहा है बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहा है मैं आपके इस चैनल की वसादत से अपने जो ज़िले इंतजामिया है एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है उनसे भी आज करूँगा कि काफ़ी सारे अभी मामला यहाँ पर जो है वो उनकी ज़रूरत है उनकी तरफ भी वो ध्यान दें और यहाँ पर जो ज़ायरीन आ रहे हैं वो उनसे उनके लिए भी दुआ गो हूँ कि अल्लाह ताला हज़रत बाबा साहब के फ्यूज़ व बरक़ात से आने वाले तमाम तर ज़ायरीन के दे मकासद को पूरा फरमाए इन अ डाइवर्स कंट्री लाइक इंडिया पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट रिलीजन प्रैक्टिस देयर फेथ फ्लैक्सीबली And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Brussels hosted what organizers dubbed Belgium's World Pedalo Championship for the second year in which competitors race the pedal powered vessels over a 4 hour relay course. Organizer John Christophe Guy said the teams were mainly from Belgium. but some were also from Spain, France and England. Taking place over two weekends in one of Brussels' biggest parks, the Bois de la Cambrai, the atmosphere was festive with loud music, alcohol and some flamboyant costumes. The course was a 420 meter circuit around the lake to be completed continuously by each boat for a total of 4 hours. 22 teams participated on Sunday and midway through the race the fastest lap time stood at 5 minutes and 21 seconds a team of 8 men called kefir won the event after completing 54 laps when she wanted to escape the hustle and bustle of the king's court Mary Antoinette would seek refuge in her small hidden quarters in the heart of the Chateau de Versailles. After 5 years of intricate restoration, the private quarters of the Queen of France will open to small groups of visitors. 
The flats made of tiny rooms compared to the rest of the royal residence spreads over two floors and includes a living room, a library and a boudoir. Marie Antoinette began to furnish the Queen's small apartment from 1774. The decoration reproduces that from 1784, the most documented year. Objects which belong to Marie Antoinette will also be displayed. Shortly after her arrival in Versailles in 1770, Marie Antoinette took possession of the apartment. Conscious of her rank of Archduchess of Austria and future Queen of France, she ordered embellishment works very early on. Her demands and impatience even attracted the disapproval of the king's first architect, Angie Jacques Gabriel. This intimate hideout betrayed the need for intimacy of a young woman who was lively and naturally inclined to independence. In these cabinets, the queen's real living space with controlled access, Mary Antoinette rested from the fatigues of the court and received her children and a select circle of friends. The restoration of the decoration and furniture was long and meticulous and required long research by conservation teams of the Chateau de Versailles. A Swiss-French artist has painted a giant fresco depicting a crumpled plastic bottle directly onto the grass of a Swiss park with a view to raising awareness about pollution. 34-year-old Sap used chalk and charcoal for the huge painting, which is about the length and width of three tennis courts in Lausanne's Louis Borget Park on the shores of Lake Geneva. The painting, which is cordoned off, is expected to last for two or three weeks. It's been said that art has the ability to express things that words fail to. Celebrating the spirit of art, an art exhibition was recently organized in Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir by the Kala Bhavan Almanai from the Himalayan terrain, showcasing a variety of artworks by a number of young artists. The exhibition was attended by artists, students and art lovers. Take a look. Youngsters in Jammu and Kashmir are ditching their laptops and mobile phones and have started picking up paint brushes to pursue art and embrace their creativity. A number of art exhibitions and events are organized in various districts of the Union Territory for providing a platform to young artists for showcasing their artworks. Recently, the Kala Bhavna alumni of Himalayan Terrain organized a painting and art exhibition in Srinagar where artworks of different artists were put at display. I am from, I did my bachelor degree in painting, then my master's in printmaking and my PhD also in uh, printmaking. So, uh, and I like to, I love to collaborate with, uh, with artists of different regions. And my, this is the, my, it's a great opportunity for me that I came to uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir, especially the uh, Srinagar for this show and meet a lot of friends here. Organized in collaboration with the Gayur Art Foundation, the exhibition featured an array of artworks including oil color paintings, water color paintings, mixed media paintings and more. Many artists showcased their artworks which were inspired by the natural beauty of Himalayan region, incorporating elements of landscape, flora and fauna and traditional cultural motifs into their pieces. Various visitors who attended the event appreciated the opportunity to view and purchase unique, high-quality artworks of various artists. As a student, uh, for us, it's like a heaven. यहाँ पे हमें कंपोजिशन जो होता है हमारे लिए वो बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है सीखना एक बच्चे के लिए डिफिकल्ट इन द सेंस आइडिया नहीं आता जल्दी बच्चे को कि क्या करना है कैसे करना है और यहाँ देखने के बाद ये सारे काम वो आइडिया मान लो सारा 
आ जाता है बंदे के पास कि कैसे अप्रोच करना है हम किस किस मीडिया में काम कर सकते हैं सो एवरी क्लियर हो जाता है तो उस हिसाब से यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छा है ये एंड इट्स काइंड अप्रिशिएटिंग और यहाँ पे स्पेस भी बहुत अच्छा है Kahat or the Kala Bhavna alumni of Himalayan Terrain is a community of artists and art lovers who strive to support and promote the arts in the Himalayan region. They also did events to serve as an important platform for showcasing the rich cultural heritage and artistic talent of the area. The exhibition gave experience and exposure to many local artists in Kashmir who visit this exhibition. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Shivangi Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.